Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today we are going to be using the number one strategy on Boom Beach. And what I mean by number one is what the strategy of a number one player used to get up this far and to get stay on top. So this guy's at 1863 medals, which is freaking insane. So he uses two books of medics, it's Juruka's strategy basically, and four boats of riflemen. So I got the four uh, two boats of medics on my level 21 landing craft, so that means I get five on each. And I'm getting so close to level 60 for you guys. I'm like smelling it. So look at that medic at the very front. He's like smelling the raid. I mean, like, <laughs> what do I mean smelling? I mean, like, he's leading the raid. So I think the new landing crafts are a little glitchy because I don't think he should be standing on it. I guess, I guess it doesn't. Yeah, I believe that one has one also standing. So it looks like one of them is always going to be leading it. That's why they don't have like an odd number on these boats. Like, uh, I don't know, but it's a little glitchy when you click on it. So, anyway, let's do some attacking. We're gonna take on Dr. Terra today with this strategy. We're gonna see how it works and how how well it works. Yeah. So basically, he doesn't have to worry about boom cannons, cannons, or sniper towers. All the only thing he has to worry about are rocket launchers, shock launchers, and mortars. There we go. Finally, it worked. I lost connection and it was so bad. But yeah. We don't have to worry about boom cannons, but I am going to shock the boom cannon because I don't want to lose any. Because that's just going to put something. Just It's just going to be hard for me to, you know, attack if I lose half my troops before the hard battles even start. So there we go. Tail Sage 1 goes down. We're not doing any boost. This guy doesn't boost his. Well, he did boost his, like, damage or something, but you don't need to boost your health with this strategy. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna use medics. I mean, critters this time. Look at those critter powers. That was a level 21 more, uh, cannon, and my critters just demolished it. And this strategy, guys, is so gonna lag later, I'm telling you right now. Because, like, this many riflemen all shooting at the same time, it, it gets pretty bad, pretty fast. So, like, you could see it when Hammerman attacks us. So, look, hopefully, we won't like that bad. Like, usually you don't hear lag on mobile games, but it does happen, guys. It does happen. Okay, so we're just going to move into this base. As you see here, my medics are keeping my troops alive. They're trying to kill the machine guns. We're trying to kill my medics. And I was like, no. No. And these are like, yeah, these are my level 21 riflemen, I believe. I think they're level 21. I'll look after this battle. And I did lose a few there, but that's fine because they only take one minute to train up each. So, by the time we get on to the next battle, they should be trained up. Because we're going to look here. Yep, level 21 riflemen, and I do not have my Zookas upgraded yet. And one of my medics, I guess. So, like, this is the strategy the top players use, but they probably maxed out their troops also. So, what we're going to do is we're going to place one there. We're going to get a triple hit here. Good, good, good. We'll get a double hit there. Drop these guys down. We're going to flare over here. Get a uh, smoke. Just so the Zookas don't die. I don't think they were close to dying, but I just, you know. I need to keep these guys as alive as long as possible because I don't want to retrain them because it does cost a lot of diamonds to retrain the strategy. Okay, now my medics are gonna start hooking in and help me out a little bit. They haven't helped out like at all lately, so we definitely need this. Let's get that down. And it looks like we didn't lose any, which is good. And that one, maybe one little snipe uh, rifleman should be trained up by this time. So yeah, it's kind of exciting that I could. It's it's something that I could do because I'm almost a maxed out player. This strategy. So now we're gonna start losing troops. I think we will be able to beat Dr. Terror today. Uh, the only problem is I might need to boost my energy. Because, like, I need enough energy to take down the rocket launchers and shock launchers. Now, there is a mortar here, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop that. We're going to drop our troops. We're going to drop that. We can't lose medics. That was so dumb of me, so we're going to drop a few critters. We can't lose our medics. And come on, medics. I need you guys to heal up from the flame. It looks like flame is actually one of the most deadly forces against this strategy. So I'm just trying to have some some uh, med kits on my troops there. We're going to do a shock there. I know the boom mines are going to be an issue. 
and we don't have any medics on the bottom hand so we're gonna drop a med kit which is gonna help heal up a little bit okay we got that little medic there and we are losing a ton of riflemen but that is fine I, this, this strategy would be really fun to use on a, a like a maxed out player so maybe after this battle is over i will try to find a maxed out player or close to being maxed out player with some ice maybe see if any of those guys are on my map that's what i'll do i'll train up my troops because this is, i'm gonna lose so much more of the next dr terror stage so let's see how much it costs to train up 29 you know that isn't terrible but it's not like awesome either level 61 okay so it looks like this guy has some pretty high ice statues and I kind of want to try his base, so I'm going to try it. I, I'm not good at this strategy. I'm just warning you guys now. I might actually use this strategy more because I, it looks like this is the strategy I need to learn if I want to get to max leaderboards. So this guy has all of his rocket launchers in a clump here, which is going to make it incredibly easy for me to take down stuff. Okay. The mines aren't going to do too big of anything. Too big of anything. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I need to take down that shock launcher, then I'm gonna shock the other one. Keep the other one shocked. Yeah, we're gonna shock this one. I'm gonna take down that one. And it looks like the flame is actually the worst against this strategy. Oh my gosh, the flame is so deadly. Definitely have to keep flame shocked, and I'm losing a ton of riflemen. My riflemen are dropping like cray cray, bro. Okay, gotta keep that shocked. And everything else is looking good. I might be done after this attack because this is freaking terrible. And terrible. This is freaking terrible, man. And we're just going to drop a few critters because as soon as all of our riflemen die, the Zookas are all going to die. So we need to keep the riflemen as alive as possible. And, and I have like zero riflemen left. So this just got bad pretty dang fast. Yes, I could do a reflare, but I don't really want to. Because, oh gosh. This is so incredibly painful. I need... Okay, we'll place that down. Okay, I don't want to lose my troops. It's that sniper tower. Actually, I'm going to do a flare over here. Oh gosh, we're not going to be in... We're going to be out of range, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully we'll be out of range. We are a few... We are a few Izukas down, but we will be able to beat it. It's just a time battle now. Dang. That was awesome, guys. I love this strategy. Like, I never would have beat them with uh, Scorchers or... I, well, I probably could have beaten them with Scorchers, but still. Someone that has boosted ice, all you need to do is perfect this strategy, and then you'd be so OP. So, that's going to be it for the video, guys. I know it was a little shorter than usual. Actually, it wasn't that short, but... I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the strategy that the number one player uses. And maybe next time I'll do the number two strategy. Because these are the strategies you need to learn if you want to get to the top. This guy uses Grenadier. Nope, not Grenadier. He uses Tanks, Riflemen, and Medics. So that's kind of a weird strategy. Maybe I'll try that out next. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.